The Very Greedy Bee Written by Steve Smallman Illustrated by Jack Tickle In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees work hard making honey and cleaning the hive. But the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let a tired ladybird sit on his flower. Find your own flower! He shouted. This one is mine! And when one day... The greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen. He decided not to tell anyone. Yummy, he buzzed. Lots and lots of flowers and they're all for me. The greedy bee whizzed and beezed from flower to flower, slurping and burping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. At last, his tummy was full and he settled down on a big pink flower in warm yellow sunshine and fell fast asleep. When the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so stodgy and pudgy. He went down instead of up and landed. Big bang, thump on the ground below. scared said the greedy bee and i don't know how to get home then he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass <coughs> he cried a monster is coming to eat me but it wasn't the monster it was two friendly fireflies their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong? They asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy bee. And I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us, said the fireflies. And they all set off on the long, long journey home. Through the forest, of flowers and squelchy mud. Over the hills and under hollows trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far and he was very tired. Soon be there, called the fireflies kindly. Then they heard a whizzing watery noise. I'm almost home! cried the greedy bee excitedly. It's a stream! And it was about... His hive was on the other side of it. Oh dear! cried the greedy bee, flopping down with a flump on the floor. How will I ever get across? 
hastily filled suddenly. We'll help you, said the tiny ant with a big leaf. The ant and his friends flipped one of their leaves into the water. Jump in, they cried. Then helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, splishing and splashing over the other side of the stream. Hooray! I'm home! cried the greedy bee. Wherever have you been? called the other bees. I overslurped, said the greedy bee. I would never have got home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. So now, I'm going to share my best honey with them. Would you like some too? Great, said the other bees. Let's have a party. Everyone tucked into a midnight feast of yummy, runny honey. All except for one very sleepy, very happy, but not so greedy bee.